My approval is for a million dollar home? It is a million dollar home. Okay. Previously with Peyton. Did y'all know Prince was my daddy? Yeah. Well, I'm single again. He couldn't handle all this. He was weak. Just as suspected. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Girl, right on time. These are good tears. I left my phone at home. They up in the room. They got drunk. They got drunk last night. Oh yeah, my friend's next door. I just, I wanted to come to the Reds. They don't have to know what you got going on. Do what men do best, lie. That it is easy for you to blame everything on me. Final dinner tomorrow. Take myself to Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs so and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. Get it, get it, ay, ay. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another weekly vlog. We are here with Auntie. What did you do? Cats and kittens. Wait a minute, who the hell is this out here in front of the house? Why the hell is she just standing in front of my door like this? Do I know that's right. I mean, is you coming to me as a woman or what? talking about scams for quite a few vlogs okay ever since i was introduced to scams from one of my paypal sending me a care package i have been in love so i wear their pajamas loungewear bras penny i am obsessed okay and i'm super impressed with the fits everybody t-shirt bra i was so impressed that i wear that bra every day yeah it's black and who's gonna check me 
So now that they have come out with a line of bras, I gotta tell you about their bras and I wanna thank Skims for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so this is the first bra that I absolutely am in love with. This bra is so freaking comfortable, okay? This is called their Wireless Form Lightly Line Bra and I have mine in a 36 double D. Yes, I know it looks big, but don't worry, it fits. And that's all that matters. This bra is so freaking comfortable, y'all. Oh. I absolutely love this bra. Okay, the next bra is the Demi bra. I also got this in the color okra because it matches my skin tone perfectly and I already have matching underwear for this bra. This bra is the perfect t-shirt bra. It's the perfect t-shirt bra. It gives you that perfect lift. It's comfortable. You don't have to worry about back fat sitting over the bra or under the bra. It removes those bra lines. It's just the perfect t-shirt bra. But not only that, you don't have to wear it on a t-shirt. This is a good everyday bra. It's just that comfortable. And last but not least is the weightless scoop bra. I got this in the color Onyx and in the size 36 double D and I love this bra. When I took it out of the package, I was like, hmm, tried it on, absolutely in love it. And I'm always gonna get the color Okra or Onyx just because I feel like those are my staple colors. Like the Okra just matches my skin tone perfectly and you can never have too many black bras. So, like I said, thanks again to Skims for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the link in the description box to shop. And don't forget to let Skims know how you found out about these bras by going to YouTube and clicking my name in the drop down menu. And thanks again to Skims for always keeping your girl nice and perky. Let me go put these in my, in my closet, girl. Good morning, good morning. So we did get our nails done yesterday and I had every intention on talking to y'all, but I needed to charge all of my batteries. I had like 15, yeah, 15% 15 left, but I got my new GoPro. It actually came, today's Thursday, it actually came Tuesday. So let's open it. I ordered it Sunday when I got home. And it came Tuesday. <laughs> ah! So the last one that I actually lost in Turks and Caicos, that was a nine. So I upgraded. Whenever I lose some, I always get the next biggest thing. Catch. <laughs> yeah, so we upgraded girl. We got the GoPro black 12 still waterproof but i'm pretty sure it's like enhanced and better than the one that i lost so we're excited about that and the one that i got on um amazon actually came with like this 50 in one accessories kit because i lost a lot of my accessories from the previous kit that I bought separately on Amazon. So this one came in a bundle. I was like, shit, let me go ahead and buy it. Um, so I, I got another um, like helmet piece, head piece, but I also have like replacements for the stuff that I lost, you know what I'm saying? And, or misplaced or whatever. So all of this came out to be like 450, I think. And it also came with a 64 gigabyte SD card that I can keep in that and put in it and yeah. And then I also bought another 256 gigabyte extreme micro SD card that can go in, you know, all of my stuff, but it also comes with it. That saying this um, as well because the SD card that was in that GoPro that I lost was a 256 gigabyte SD card and it had some footage on there, baby. Because so I really hope, I really hope whoever got that GoPro, I hope they don't have a Sony. I hope that they don't have a Sony camera. You know what? It don't even matter if they don't have a Sony camera. I hope that they just format the SD card before they look at it. This, yeah. Cause baby, it was it was a part on it. It was a part on it where I'm getting ready. You know what I'm saying? And you know, y'all don't see the edited out parts, but 
is still on the SD card. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm just hoping that whoever got the... <laughs> ah! I'm just hoping whoever got it format the SD card. Well, they gonna see the shit. Anyways, I really need to unpack so we are about to do that and straighten up a little bit the housekeepers are coming in a few hours so i want to make sure that clutter is out of the way not cleaning up before they get here per se but just like making sure that clutter is out of the way so they can do what they need to do so um because i left my closet a mess we need to do that we need to do we need to unpack and Put things away upstairs in the bedroom they're gonna take out the trash and all of this so basically what all i have to do is yeah just unpack and straighten up the closet and then the house will be clean today i'm so excited i love when i get my house clean because like the air feels different am i the only one that feel like that it feel different girl so, this tripod that I use, this Ulanzi tripod, I need to order another one. So, let me go ahead and do that right now because this one is falling apart. Like, it's, it, it's literally on its last leg. It's about to break. I'm watching it. Little pieces of it have fell off. So, let me go to my orders. And when did I order this? I think it was sometime in 2023. So let me go through my 2023 orders. Shit, it actually could have been in 2023. Hi, baby. So just my look, they don't even make this tripod anymore. I had to buy a whole different one. But this right here, this Louis Vuitton perfume, a trape Revis, Revis. This smells so good. I wore it yesterday. Kept sniffing myself. Highly recommend. My Louis Vuitton bags. I don't think it's necessary, but. Throwing these bags away just be making me feel so bad because they're so high quality. They're such high quality shopping bags. But y'all, let me get this this flower together. I got some stuff I need to move. Oh. All right, I am getting ready to go out, hang out with my friend. We might go have some drinks and stuff like that this outfit is from white fox boutique y'all have seen it before with different hair though but i just threw this on and then um yeah light jewelry these glasses are from a paypal she sent me these a long time ago they got the little pearl right there these are so cute so i just popped these on with it I caught myself flipping the back of my hair, but try that didn't work. But yeah, White Fox Boutique, and then I just have um my Fendi slides, and I'm wearing my MCM bag. The Fendi slides match the MCM bag like perfectly. It's the perfect brown. So let me give y'all a full look. So this is the full look of the fit. Just a little casual fit oh yeah and for fragrance damn man like i put too much in this bag and for fragrances we're wearing argos fragrances fall of phaeton every time i go out with him i put on something different to see how he reacts so far he really loves rihanna's fancy like when i when when i went on a date and i had that on he was like damn you smell so fucking good emphasis on the fucking good so i be trying like to see which one he liked the most i should have put on fancy again because that that rose i want to say is it bulgarian rose that's in fancy 
I want to say it's Bulgarian Rose, baby. It's something about Bulgarian Rose that men like because Bulgarian Rose is in Kama Sutra. And the way that performs and get reviews, listen. Skin Potion Kama Sutra, you don't even have to put on perfume with it. Whenever I wear Skin Potion Kama Sutra, whether it's the crystal or the original version, I don't even have to put on perfume with it because the body oil, the body butter, that's enough. It's that potent. Chef's kiss. I got a thing for bitches. I got a thing for bitches. I don't really hang with bitches. I don't really hang. I don't if you see me with them nine times out of ten, I'm banging them bitches. Uh, uh. Good morning. So we about to take our take this wig off. Oh yeah, that was real easy. Yeah, we about to take this wig off and um take these braids down. Shouldn't be hard because I braided them myself, real soft, real soft like. And um yeah, the house is clean. The closet is clean. You know when the fire is on, baby, that means the closet is together. Um and we about to head up to Press Roots to get a spa package what is it called i think they're they called their when it's just the ultimate hydrating spa package so that's just when they wash condition steam treatment blow dry and basically prep your hair to get braided um and i'm gonna come back to the house and braid my hair myself and then i don't know put might put this wig back on wash this wig blow dry it and flat iron it real quick because it's very low maintenance or we might go red. We might go this reddish brown color. This is like a, a water wave wig. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I need to go ahead and take this hair down. And yeah, so let's do that. I really don't want to do this in this bathroom. But shit, it's either this bathroom or the bathroom upstairs and either way i'm still gonna have to sweep and clean up so i might as well do it in this bathroom i really need to start doing my hair in this bathroom that way i ain't gotta go up and down the doggone steps um i love it when i do when i braid my own hair up because the braids unbraid so easily I could just literally like just pick my hair with my nails and they just come loose. But they still be tight enough and flat enough where my to where my I still get like really flat, seamless installs. Ooh, I got a patch of dandruff right there that is ridiculous. So I ordered the new tripod. That tripod literally as hell. I don't know what you Lonzy was thinking. Why would they discontinue the tripod that had the removable remote? Maybe they had some issues. I don't know. I feel like maybe Sony, maybe some, they had some issues with Sony. And they had to discontinue it. That's the only thing. Because that, that tripod should never have gotten discontinued. But the with, with what I'm going through with it, as far as like it breaking into pieces and it just not being able to hold the camera after a while, that may be it too. Because I've had to replace several Ulanzi. Oh, this feels so good. I've had to replace several Ulanzi tripods. They tripods don't hold up, baby. Before the year out, you gonna have to have you gonna have to replace it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, at least we know where we need to bring the, the next wig down to because that, try. Okay, yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with my Vegamore and treat.
Okay, all ready to go. I have on a little Gym Girl era flare leg jumpsuit. I'm wearing my, what are these, beige Air Jordan Retro Ones. And then I just put on this Louis Vuitton bucket hat to go with the vibe of the colors. Do we want to put on, hmm. this one gives standing on business, but I ain't got on nothing to match it. Like nothing. And I got another Louis Vuitton bag that's similar to this one, but it got a pink strap. I don't got on nothing pink. So I feel like I might as well put this one on. This one got a cute little wallet in it too. Baby, what's in this wallet? My Kroger card. Ain't that some? Look at it. I've been looking for you. The thing about carrying these cute little purses like this, you can't carry much. I don't think you could grab a whole bunch of shit and be able to put a whole bunch of shit in it because you're not. But I love my little bitty bags. At least I can get a little something, something in there. I can get my money, my cards. You can have it all back. Those cards and candy. Man, I just hit my head so damn hard on the garage. I was going back in the house to get some deodorant because I conveniently always forget to put some on. I don't know why. But man the garage one lit up all the way and i do 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 ran dead into it hit my head so hard i hope i knocked that concussion back in place because i hit it hard hi girl i'm here for Peyton. 48 baby got a little candy in a pocket she gonna take off like a you a little post so baby you a little 48, baby. You already know, no, no, no. Ready to pop them on the north side. Fix you, but I know you probably go outside. No, I gotta come and check the old man, baby. Old side. I just touched the city with the cheap block stainers. And we got it through the coast. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, boom. Okay, we got some cute stuff in Zara. And I just did my return. I have one more return. A little Amazon return for that tripod. But I'm about to go to PF Chang's and give me something to eat because I feel a little hungry headache coming on. And then we're gonna pop over to Versace. We could have just walked over there after Zara, but baby, I feel the headache coming. So we're gonna eat first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you bring all of the sauces yeah. so I can mix it in, make my little concoction? Yeah, like all the spicy ones. Mm -hmm. I got the trio. Mm -hmm. I Thank you. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing to see slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quality in my shorty bag. You know she want a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. I'm looking forward to working with you. I'm looking forward to working with you too. I just got the pre-approval letter. Th pre-approval letter. Thank you. Yeah, and this texting line is shared with my uh, with my team. So anytime you have questions, just give me a call or text at any time. Okay. And my approval is for a million dollar home. It is a million dollar home. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. Um, just start thinking about your taxes because we can't close until you file your taxes and you pay whatever tax bill is due.
make sure we place it in the right place, honey, because we place it in the right place, baby. The forehead gonna even either look too big or too little. Natural forehead is big as hell, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Oh, I love everything about the How to Boom Boom Cream smell. Like, it's me thinking I'm not a gourmand girl. I actually am. I actually am. So we are going to remind me to go get some more of this, y'all. Look at this. This face oil is so bomb. Like, why haven't I, why did I just decide to start oil cleansing? And I feel like PayPal's have been telling me to oil cleanse instead of using all those like harsh products on my skin because it's so sensitive. I feel like there have been PayPal's that said to try oil cleansing and I just couldn't get with it because I'm oily and I was like, that doesn't even sound right. But child, if you acne prone and uh, oily and have sensitive skin, try oil cleansing. Try it. The way I be breakout free now, like, only time I break out is when it's time of the month now. Because I feel like a lot of people feel like it was me wearing wigs and stuff like that and my diet, dairy. It was so many different, you know, people saying different things. And when I start oil cleansing, this one I seen a huge difference in my skin. Like, even when I do have a pimple, my dark spots fade so much faster so my skincare routine video is coming soon because i definitely feel like it'll help a lot of people just figuring out like how to clear your skin up so today we're getting ready to go and look at some houses i have finally gotten the ball rolling to buy my first home and i'm so nervous and i'm so excited i got my pre-approval letter because once me and keisha who I have been friends with for 10 years and we have never met in person, y'all. We are literally like bitches, but I love that girl. We've even had a spat in our friendship and we're able to reconcile and look over things. And you know what I'm saying? Like, we are literally like the movie Beaches. So she's a realtor now and she posted a house on her Instagram story. And I immediately reposted it because I'm like, oh my God, I love this house. Like, I want this house. And she was like, claim it, it's yours. And she then we, she called me and she was like, um, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling for you to get your home, your dream home and stuff like that. Because I was in no way, shape or form ready. I just, when I seen the house, I was like, I want that fucking house. Like, that house was bomb, right? And then when I saw the price, I was like, oh my God, it's in my price. No, wait a minute. The house that the, the house that she posted wasn't in my price range. But she ended up showing, like, sending me other houses that were. And so she was like, wait a minute, you're a veteran, right? She was like, you can get a VA loan. She was like, so call them and go ahead. So I was like, usually I would procrastinate, y'all. But this morning I woke up wanting to be so productive and, and being, like, serious, right? Because... When you put things in the universe, if you want things to happen, you have to put yourself in a position to make it happen. So just going looking at houses, if I'm not really serious, the universe ain't gonna take me seriously, right? So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and call this um, this lender to get my pre-approval letter. Talked to the lender, got my pre-approval letter. So my the, the realtor that she put me in connection with here because she's in LA, will take me seriously because a lot of a lot of realtors and agents won't take you seriously if you don't have a pre-approval letter like this is not going looking at apartments baby you are looking at houses like other people are looking at these houses putting offers on them like so you need to be serious as well so i got my pre-approval letter and i'm just i'm nervous y'all because this is this is big like i don't know how i'm big but i'm ready i'm ready I'm ready. So we have three houses to look at today and I'm so excited. I'm going to take you all with us. Um, my agent name is uh, Kayla. She's, I think she is Keisha's cousin and she lives here in Dallas. And so, yeah, we about to go and look at some houses. So I'm getting cute, cute or whatever. 
because I want the universe to know that I ain't playing, baby. Baby, I'm, I'm, I'm putting this shit on for you in the universe. Gods. Yo. Are we loving? Are we loving? Because I'm loving, child. Okay, let's see if we melt it. We probably ain't melt it. Let's leave it on for a little while longer because um, Erica, yeah, she says to let it melt for an hour. I don't know if we got that time because what time is it? for the freeze just a little bit not too much i caught myself trying to give myself a little burgundy in my in my brows this is like a reddish brown so can y'all tell i did a little something something in my brows <laughs> girl <sighs> what we want to smell like today oh wait this is so pretty. God. This is like perfect for today. Do I want to spray this and mix it with some? I think I'm just going to spray this on today. Just by itself. Okay, jewelry. Since we have some green on, I'm wearing my Jasper and Cal watch. This bracelet is from Shop Link and Live, and then my Fendi bracelet with the matching ring. This ring is also from Shop Link and Live. I'm wearing my new Louis Vuitton ring that I got. This Tory Burch bracelet, and then this bracelet is from Shop Link and Live. And I kind of want to put these on too, but I feel like I'm about to be doing a lot of walking. And I feel like I ain't spray on enough perfume. Yeah. This cute. Yeah, I'm gonna wear these these heels. Yep, this cute. Okay, outfit of the day. This tank top is from Zara. The pants are from Micah's. I'm pretty sure they're still online because they do a good job at like keeping stuff. Um, in stock and then the shoes are Dolce and Gabbana Mules and Bottega Jody Bag. Really cute day date fun outfit to go and look at some open houses but also take ourselves to lunch. Mm -hmm. Now we're putting on glasses. We never get to wear these. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh huh. This is the first house.
decide if this one doesn't have the bag. I have to have a bath in my own sleep. Mm -hmm. Bath time is my secret time. But this closet though. Like this closet this though. Person. No, the lighting isn't as impressive you like. So the other one, the balcony was bigger, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, about to go look at house number three. We just looked at two houses. The first house that we looked at, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I won't say I love it, um, but I do like it a lot. It's definitely within my price range. She was actually under. Not under a lot, but it is under. But I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Now we're about to look at one that I think is a right at a million. I like this area too these this area has more of these type of houses on it even though like but yeah yeah this house this house nice too okay so let's go and check this one out I would prefer it, honestly. Yeah, I would. Yeah. But second floor bedroom so Kyra have her own very luxurious and then this is a big bedroom with a balcony okay so we saw four houses i really really like the first one although there was a minor discrepancy when we were walking up the steps my heel punctured the wood um so it wasn't giving hardwood floors if they happen um and i really liked that house i loved the bath the owner suite i loved the bathroom the bathtub with the rocks around it the closet how it had the lights and it just had ample space for all of my things um i still would i still would totally need an additional closet though but i loved that one the second house, I didn't love it as much as the first house. The third house with the media room, loved it. There was one part in the house though where one of the bedrooms upstairs kind of like the flooring was kind of like you felt how it wasn't leveled, right? Um, but I love the fact that it has the media, media room and then just like the two huge open areas So you have like an additional den or living room or a game room on top of uh, A whole nother area for like seating it like it just it's, it's so much space um, Then the fourth one that we saw it's well over like way over my price range. It's like 1.2 
Um, I don't even think that, honestly, I don't even think that they would accept my offer of just, yeah. I, I don't think they I would be able to negotiate and bring them down um, 200000 Hold on. Hey, Miss Girl. Hello? My bad, y'all. That was Princess Cavern. But, yeah, I don't think that I would be able to negotiate them down 200000 Because they already, the house was 1.7 and they brought it down to 1.2. So, I don't think that they would come down another two. Um, I just, I just don't. Plus, honestly, like, that house isn't brand new. The last house that we just walked, that we just viewed with the two islands in the kitchen and that uh amazing amazing living room with the the vaulted ceilings i yeah i it was a that house isn't brand new it was built in 2021 so someone has already lived there and it's pretty evident when you're walking throughout the house that someone's lived there um it's a lot of like holes still in the walls and you see like patches in the walls of them like patching up holes but the the patch doesn't match the paint and the way my ocd set up i wouldn't mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. i i don't even feel like they should be showing their house like that like they should i mean the house is staged on the first floor so they staged the the owner suite in the living room but you see you know a lot of the problem areas in the house and for them to be asking for 1.2 in that area because like literally across the street you could tell what the what the neighborhood used to look like before they began gentrifying it and it don't give that that house should be that price i mean maybe once they start um building more houses like it next to it and around it but try that house is the only house well i ain't gonna say it's the only house like that on the on the street but because it is a lot of those houses in that area like that but that house overpriced that house overpriced and i feel like it's overpriced because it's the owner that's pricing it and not the builder if it was the builder that priced it i don't feel like that house would be 1.2 even 1.7 i feel like the owner is trying to get more you know what i'm saying more back to profit like equity out of the house because it I, I don't think that their house is worth that much in their area right now like mm -mm, mm -mm. so um i don't know i don't know i really like house number one but i don't like how my heel punctured the wood i really like house number one though and i also like house number three um i'm not extremely excited about the location of house number three because it's like right next to a really crowded street so like I feel like I would always hear cars passing by like it's not in a quiet area you know what I'm saying um, house number one is though house number one is a very quiet area very very quiet area and I love the view of the skyline skyline like in my on the second floor when I'm just like lounging when I would be lounging around on the second floor in the, the entertainment or the game room if you will I would be able to see there's a huge uh, house number one huge second floor balcony with an amazing view of the skyline amazing view of the skyline on top of that the rooftop view of the skyline is amazing as well so i in in house number one i have so many areas for outdoor seating it's crazy like so many areas i even have my own balcony in the owner suite of the first one so i really really like it plus it's below my my price range i really like it they would just have to fix that freaking staircase and i don't like that they would have to fix it because i i just i feel like there that shouldn't have happened but you know things happen i do like house number one though i, I definitely like house number one but we gonna see 
um, we, we, me and her are about to go to lunch. We're about to go to the Henry and sit down and have a talk so she can, you know, get to know me better and understand, like, what I'm looking for and what I want. I am really big on an open kitchen, a huge kitchen, like house number one had. My owner suite, I would love ample room in my bedroom. Like, I don't want to feel like my bedroom is crowded. So I like a lot of room in my bedroom on top of, I want a huge bathroom. I want a huge, luxurious bathroom, huge, luxurious closet. Um, lots of storage space. I have to have lots of storage space because I get a lot of stuff and um, I, need, I need places to put it. Two car garage, definitely have to be able to charge both my cars. Um, I would love to have a pool permit where I live. So eventually if I want to put a pool in, the third house had that. The third house comes with a pool permit. However, it's right next to it. It's not even a freeway. It's just a really, it's like a busy street. It's like a busy street with a bridge. So if you on the bridge, you would you would be able to see like I got a pool right there. You know what I'm saying? You'd be able to see. You feel me? So I don't know. We're gonna see what else she comes up with though. Cause that was we, we viewed four houses today. So things may keep coming on the market. Um, however, I do like I do really like house number one. Okay, last house of the day we're getting ready to see. I'm super excited about this one. This one is like two houses down for the, from the ones that we already looked at. Um, we just missed it earlier, but we could have we could have looked at it earlier I, I actually didn't see this one on the listings that she sent me last night and then i looked at the pictures and i'm like oh i want to see this one it's in the price range it's fairly lower honestly and it looks a little bit bigger i can't wait to look inside like this is the last house of the day and then we're gonna look at some more monday but yeah um we're about to go inside and see Home Depot or Lowe's today and get a box cutter. Oh, not I'm going to Home Depot single. Baby, this is going to be an in and out because this red hair, I ain't no telling what this red hair capable of. Baby, this is going to be an in and out trip. I'm just going to go in and get what I need to come on right out. On a Sunday too. I'm going to fuck around and walk in there and a man in there building a mansion by hand. Okay, Jesus. You know they said Jesus was a carpenter. Okay, so we got a whole nother selfie stick tripod. <sighs> yeah, I'm so tired of buying you Lonzy. See, one thing I could say about Sony tripod, Sony, the Sony grip tripod, even though it's little and you ain't gonna get much angle, you ain't gonna get much arm length, you ain't gonna get much height, you pretty much stuck, right? As far as like, your angles. You you don't have many options. Try. This probably is my sixth or seventh Ulanzi tripod. Cause that one broke. But I love it because it got the removable remote. So I like it because I can program it to both cameras. The, the A7 or this one and use it to take pictures. So I could still use the remote, charge the remote and use the remote um, and just, uh, and use this one too. So this one comes with a uh, remote, but the remote, ain't it ain't pressure like that one. That one remote, that remote right there, zoom in, take pictures, press record, and it also can defocus it literally has the same functions on the remote that the camera does so you don't even have to worry about it i have no idea it don't make no sense why they just discontinued their tripod that was the best tripod ow 
Okay, I really just cut myself. We're gonna, leave, we're gonna leave that cutting knife alone. We're gonna leave it alone. All right. So, don't you say? And why? And this my thing. Why do you lunge it package their their tripods to the point where you have to literally destroy the packaging to open it so you can't send it back? But I'm gonna still send it back. Cause what? Cause yeah. Fuck you thought. I'm gonna still send it the fuck back if, if I don't like it. It better. Look at this. Look at this. You really. Look at this. Look at this. They don't want me to hurt myself. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, okay, this is how okay. I was just about to say, look, man, look, man, shit. Ooh, I don't like this one already. Now, why is this that heavy? Baby, this is a baton. This is what the, this is what the officers have on their side, beside their gun. What the hell is this, you Lonzy? This is too heavy. I don't want to walk around with this. I can't win for losing. This ain't even a tripod. This is in I wish a nigga would. What's that? What kind of tripod is that? A I wish a nigga would. Yeah. This one of them. First of all, it's it's doing too much. It's just it's. I don't like it. Why is it so heavy? This, this just, this, uh-uh. Talking to the moon. Turn on to see more time. Ooh. Talking, let me, let me stop before I fall on this knife. I don't already cut myself. Okay, let me show y'all what else I got from Zada. Y'all be careful now, okay? Let me show y'all what else I got from Zara because I ain't show y'all everything. I did try on. So I got this top. This is going to be so cute. Okay, I have an idea for it already. And then I picked up this little bodysuit. Oh, this going to be cute. I didn't even know it had that. This going to be cute. I picked up this bodysuit to wear with these shorts for like a little cash old money look you know to go get coffee or you know wear on a flight because we be cute on we be cute when we be flying now baby we don't wear active wear sets on flights no no we get we get jazzy you never know who the hell you're gonna meet in first class and be sitting next to you know what i'm saying because she's available and then we got this cute little dress I just saw it, it was stripes. I thought that it was cute, you know, could wear it with some loafers or, um, and put like a little jumper around the shoulders or dress it up or put on some sneakers with it for a little cash look. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then we got this dress. I did go ahead and get this dress, which is really cute. I did pick up that jumpsuit and I got this in a size small. I picked up that jumpsuit. Oh, uh, oh, that was my time for a blazer. So I don't know what it is. And then I picked up this jumpsuit. And we still gotta return this. Uh, this uh, yeah. I picked up this jumpsuit, so let's try this on because this is the only one I ain't try on. And after that, listen, after I tried on everything that I tried on as all, I wasn't going in that damn uh, fitting room again because I, I already hate trying on stuff. But, you know, with this wagon I'm dragging, I got to be careful. I got to try stuff on. So, I saw this jumpsuit and some told me to get it in a small, but I went ahead and got it in a medium because, I don't know. I just feel like I needed it in a medium. Because uh, I wasn't trying nothing else on. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go and get it in a medium. And hopefully it fit and it be cute in the medium. Now, I got on my pajamas and I got on a pull-up. So 
disregard the shape right now. The shape ain't gonna give. The shape ain't gonna give. You know what? I could have got this on a smile. Oh, I knew it. I knew it by the I knew it by the, the fabric that I could have got in this mouth. And I'm gonna have to put another hole in this. But this cute. You know what the medium I right. The medium I right. I just I I look I look really frumpy because I have on a pull up I have on period panties and some shorts underneath. But when I take this off, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel good because you know what? A smile probably would have brought my hips in too much because Zara is for the girls that. Yeah. This cute. This gonna be cute with my little Fendi. Oh yeah. This gonna be cute with my Fendi slides in this MCM bag. Oh okay. Okay, girl. Yeah. Yeah. What damage did we do? I didn't do too bad. $272.25. I had returned a few things too. <laughs> then we got something from Micah's. Definitely got to try this shit on because Micah's be coming like dog. But I like Micah's. Micah's, you know what? The other thing that I don't like about Micah's is Micah's shipping is about as, it's just like Gym Girl era. Like if you bought anything from Gym Girl era, you would know the quality is superb, but the shipping takes long. So first thing I got is this little black and white lace bralette. I got this specifically to wear with those wide leg trousers that I got from Zara. Um, that's gonna be cute with that. And then I got this dress. I, I wanna say Zara had a dress like this not too long ago and it sold out very quickly. So I got this dress, it's in an olive green. Let's try it on. I wanna say I got it in a smile, but I could've. Oh, baby, this is just these shorts. This a romper. I want to say I got this in a smile, but baby, it could be it could be a medium. Oh, baby, we might have to get this scared. Oh lord, how you finesse this dress? Is you have to zip it up before you put it up on your your whatnot, your sleeves and whatnot. But this cute. Oh, lord. I got you know I got clothes on underneath or whatever. But this cute. So these, this, actually, I should have got the pants. So this actually comes with, this actually has the pants to match, but it, they call this a mini skirt, a slit mini skirt. Baby, who gonna wear these like this? I, I can't. I can't. I have to put some, ooh, try. Uh-uh. So, what we gonna do, because this is cute, we can put on some... I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, but I ain't wearing it like this with this slit. I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. Yeah. They came with pants, but the pants was doing too much. I, I, the pants and the shirt, I just couldn't see myself. It was giving auntie after that. <clears throat> so, I, I decided not. Then we got this cute dress. Now this is cute. Cute, right? So let's try this on. Because knit dresses, they kind of fit to your body. So you know, you know how knit dresses be acting. Oh, this cute. So once I really put this on. And give it some, you know, give it some body, give it some shape, girl. Just listen. Baby, I can't dream over you. Cause I can't do something you. Baby, I swear it's deja This is a cute ass dress. Okay, 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 Michaels. I don't like trying on clothes because I start getting nauseous. But baby, when some fit, the way I start in that the way I instantly feel validated. I instantly feel good. Cause I ain't nothing like putting on something that fits your body good. 
Cause Zyra will make you will make you think twice about your life when you go in there trying on shit. Zyra will make you feel like, look at her. Not today. Okay. Okay. Um. I like it. I like it. Oh, wait a minute. I think this. I think that. I think this stripe's supposed to go down the front. Hold on. Oh, yeah, the slit's supposed to be in the bed. Shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. It would be it was cute in the front, too, though. All right. This cute. This cute. With a pair of little slides. Mm-hmm real cute and I got the same dress in white and navy so I got it in this color in white and navy and that's what I got from Micah's <sighs> real cute I ordered this shit middle of March baby it just got here the other day Micah's takes so long to ship you stuff you can't tell me Micah's ain't drop shipping I don't know how they got approved for after paying Klarna cause Good morning, Saints. So we finna go upstairs because the sun is looking a little different. They said the, the eclipse was gonna happen at ooh. Girl, they said the eclipse was gonna happen at 12.30. So I went and got on my book of Eli glasses. I went and put on my book of Eli glasses. Um, so I could look outside. Let me put my slides on, girl. Hold on, girl. Yeah, we gonna go outside and pray, Lord. So we about to go look at three more houses today, honey. Child. Ooh, the sun, the sun looking a little odd. Where is it? Oh no, that no, it ain't ready. It ain't ready. It's still hey, what the sun what the sun doing? A lot. Anyway, honey, we about to put some clothes on and go meet with the realtor. And we about to go look at three more houses i just got off the phone with two loan officers we weighing our option honey because this process i do not want this process to be stressful when my other influencer friends was buying the house they said that, that shit was hell and I, I ain't trying to go through that i, I ain't Dark outside? Yes. It is two o'clock in the afternoon and it just got dark outside. <sighs> How crazy is it that we went and saw this house and I just fell in love with it during the eclipse? Like I love this house. I love this house. that bathroom. I love this house. Okay, we could go see another one. I worked up me a little nice little appetite so we about to go to kitchen and cocktails and get us some soul food <laughs> I'm back all done and she ate per use now we're about to head to the house. I'm glad I ate good. That way I was able to sleep. Even though the glue was getting on my eyes a little bit. And it was burning like crazy. It's 90 degrees outside. Y'all, that eclipse was so interesting looking. I don't think I've ever seen an eclipse before. And it happened while I was viewing that house. And I really liked that house. I want that house. Oh my god, y'all, that house was, oh my god, that house was everything. The media room, that big ass game room portion, it had a deck on top, huge backyard. Oh, five bedroom, five bath, like, I want the house. I want the house. 
I like the house a lot. Okay, headed to the house, and yeah, Ray sent me something, so we want to go home and open this gift, and yeah, I think I'm going to lay down because I'm a little sleepy. Okay, so what did we get from Ray? He said that he wanted to send this, and I get it before my vacation, but he knows that I can use it on a trip. Coming up. First, we got something from Neiman Marcus. This package smells so good. It smells like. What's this? Oh. It smells like. Come on, please. It's cute. Okay. Okay, Ray. That is from Laquan. Oh my God, this is from Laquan Smith. He got me a Laquan Smith bodysuit. Okay. And then we got more. <gasps> we got more Kama Sutra body scrub. Oh my god. You know I never get tired of it. I never get tired of it. And then I got OMG the Kama Sutra Crystal Trilogy. So we got the body butter. It's newly packaged and y'all can. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This smells so good. He's repackaged it, so it comes in this nice packaging here now. Um, we got the revitalizing body oil. This is the Karma Sutra Crystal. And the Karma Sutra Crystal Body Lotion. So, baby, we are six, okay? Love that. And you guys know that you can always shop Skin Potion. Use my code Peyton10. Go to shopskinpotion.com. Links will be in the description box. Let me see what else I get. I need to wear what, what can I wear these with? This is so cute. Baby, I like this. Good morning. We are getting ready to go to Memphis. Are you guys excited? We just got on and my shoe is bothering me. But the hair is giving. We flipped it to the other side. And um, yeah, see you when we land. First person shoot a mold and turn in your son to a funeral. So them niggas just say they gon' office, you better be talking about working in cubicles. Yeah, them boys had that lot, but I knew the code. A lot of niggas debating my numero. Not the three, not the two, I'm the you and no. Yeah. Alright, we waiting on Auntie Joy's. It's cold in Memphis. It's hot in Texas though. I wonder is this rain coming towards Dallas or is it going the other way in the other direction? Cause Shit, I had to put, I had to buy a little jacket. It's a cute little jacket though. It match what I'm good for, what I got on. So and this it one, but it won but uh forty dollars. Mm-hmm. And your jacket match your luggage, yeah. <laughs> you excited about your week, your week vacation away from me? Oh, this is on time. Oh, how look here you go. I put it in there. Okay. Hey, Kyle. Hey. How you doing, babe? Good. Good. You're so white, woman, but don't mess around. Get your head now. <laughs> Somebody in the Cadillac. I first got my car, I was scared as hell to drive it. I was driving real careful. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a hundred a day. A hundred in the world. Too much speed Mouse limit. Crowd, yeah. Oh yeah, cause I, you know, I be looking at it when I be riding with you. 
When I be riding with you, I be looking, I be saying, oh shit. I feel, I feel You be hungry. holding on to an imaginary steel wheel. Be, shit. You be over there breaking in the Man. passenger seat, don't you? And I do like Tanya say, Mama, just look out the window. I said, he hell no. Bad, bad. When Peyton be driving, it's hard to look out the window. Because I just feel my, my body getting tensed. And then I just look out the window. I be, then I be like, he Baby, just just kind of slow down for me because I ain't used to that fast driving. When I took you to the airport last time, I wasn't going too fast. Was I was slow? No, cause driving. you stayed you stayed like you were supposed to. Oh, I be I be feeling it now. I know we don't really speed up. Cause my nerves start getting a little rough. We about to go to uh Soulfish Cafe and have lunch, and we're meeting Destiny, all of Destiny. I'm finally getting to meet her. I always come for a few hours and I, I hit her up and I was like, I'm going to be in town if you want to go she have lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Destiny a YouTuber. Okay. She real sweet. I know I met two. Now look at him. He going to run into the truck. <laughs> so I met two yesterday because the lady in TJ Maxx, she was like, hey, I know you. And I was like, you do? And she was like, you auntie. All right, slow down now. All right. Go down. And she was like, oh, you auntie. And I was like, yeah. I said, oh my God, I am really famous. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> All right, now. Yeah. Get your song. Get your song. <laughs> With two snaps. <laughs> she said, I am really famous. Yeah, yes. And then there was another girl at, what other store did I go to? Kroger's. Okay, I'm gonna get the black and sound. Black and catfish sound good too, though. I said I think I'm gonna get the black and salmon, but the black and catfish sound good too, though. Do you need anything else right now? Do you need like hot sauce? Look who's here. Y'all, we've been having a deep conversation. How long we been here? Like two hours. Mm -hmm. Everything ain't for you too. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't. It's but I'm so glad to see you. Me too. Me too. I'm glad Please to see you. Please come to Dallas. I will. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back for sure. We had I'm gonna come chance. back too and stay a little longer. You always in and out. I, I, I gotta be like, hey, the to be on the move. <laughs> Last time I was in Dallas, they like the child link. I'm like, they didn't out here. We better go to Joseph's and see what they got in Joseph's. I ain't been in Joseph's in, oh child, I ain't been in Joseph's in over 10 years. This what the girls like. Now, if you are ever in Memphis and you want designer, this is where you have to come. And this is just like a small boutique. It looked like they have expanded though. Um, but they typically have like a lot of the stuff that just came out and it's this Fendi coin bag that I want that match them, them slides that I got. I'm going to see if they got it so I ain't got to worry about getting up in the morning and going to the Fendi store tomorrow to get it. Cool. You ready girlfriend? Yes ma'am. I don't think they're they, they real bougie in here, and I don't think they don't like me to have my camera out, so I'm gonna put y'all up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, Uncle Reggie, he like to speak his text. So, when he's trying to call me George, it'll say George. <laughs> I actually want to get another gun. You do? I got mm -hmm. two. I want to have, have three. I want to have two for one, two for in the core, and one better, for in the house. Have one on you gonna have to have one in the garage. Cause see, I be I be moving them around. They be one be in my car. One in the yeah. And then one I the take garage. the one out of my car and like bring it upstairs with me and you yeah, know what I'm saying in the, the house. Floor. Mm -hmm. third floor. I got a friend like this. She got a, a three a three story townhome like me. Uh -huh. She got a gun on every floor. Yeah. Mm hmm. You know, Jessica. I, I think Jessica got. I think Jessica got three. Damn, job school. Next time we come, we need to go to the gun range. Next yeah, time, when I come back, when I come back Tuesday, we'll all go to the gun range. Yeah, we'll because, find a gun uh, range and go. Mike, I mean, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeremy. Jeremy, 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 Jerem
He said, you gonna say, hold up, hold up, hold up, boy. You done broke him out. Well, let, let, let me, let me load my, let me load my, uh, my gun. And then you said, all right, just stand right there now. Well, man, what, what, you gonna shoot me in the head or you gonna shoot me in the knees? Oh, baby, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> just hold on, let me get the bullets in here now. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you live, man. Oh, shit. Oh, baby, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up, boy. I ain't gonna let you live now. You done broken the house. <laughs> I swear Memphis Airport is one of the least busiest airports in the United States of America. <laughs> it's never like yes. nobody outside, like nobody. Look, look, one car, one car. Right here, baby? Or yeah, right here, it's fine. Okay. Jersey!